So in co-video number three, we're going to talk about the critical role of cytokines and inflammation. It is really important for you to understand these concepts as we move forward in future co-videos. So what are cytokines? Cytokines comes from the root word cyto, which means cell, and kinos, which means movement. So these cytokines are literally tiny messenger proteins that move from cell to cell, sending messages. It allows communication between cells. Now, one of the common designations you'll see for cytokines is IL followed by a number like IL-6. The IL stands for interleukin, which means this is a cytokine that moves between, inter, between leukocytes, which are white blood cells, a key part of our immune system. Now, these interleukins can be pro or anti-inflammatory. They can either increase or lower inflammation. Another common one is TNF, and that stands for tumor necrosis factor. And the origin of that term is because it was discovered in animal studies to actually increase tumors. But actually, the scope of this cytokine goes far beyond that, and it is a pro-inflammatory cytokine. And another one that's commonly used is TGF, which stands for transforming growth factor, and this is an anti-inflammatory cytokine. In our body, basically, on a daily basis, as we're exposed to infections, environmental toxins, other situations, emotional stress, our cytokines are actually on a balancing scale. So if it tips in the pro-inflammatory direction, we're going to have more inflammation, like the situation shown in this scale. And if we have more anti-inflammatory action, it's going to tip in the opposite direction. So it really is a teeter-totter balance between pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory cytokines. Now, Cytokines are also very important when it comes to our symptoms. So if we are having a pro-inflammatory reaction to, let's say, an infection, we might get these pro-inflammatory cytokines, TNF, alpha, and IL-1, and these can trigger the brain to produce these symptoms like fever, sweats, chills, and fatigue. So that's very common with, let's say, viral infection. Interleukin-6 right over here actually stimulates the liver to produce what are called acute phase reactants or proteins. And a very common one is C-reactive protein. So we sometimes measure this in your blood. So if you've got elevated levels of the IL-6 cytokine, the C-reactive protein levels will go up as well. And then these cytokines can also have an effect on our bone marrow, and that would be translated as abnormalities on your blood count test. So elevated white count, platelets, low blood counts, which is also known as anemia. Now, how do we take those cytokines and link it to lifestyle and immunity? So we'll be talking about a lot of studies in upcoming co-videos, and you'll see things like this. The connection between depression, traumatic stress, and elevated interleukin-6. That tells us that our emotional state can actually raise our cytokine levels. Or what about disrupting prolonged sitting, which can lower the pro-inflammatory interleukin-8. So that's a good thing. We're lowering inflammation by interrupting prolonged sitting. Or what about this study where curcumin, the active ingredient in turmeric, has been shown in this meta-analysis to lower IL-6, the pro-inflammatory cytokine. So now you can see when you look at these sorts of studies that positive lifestyle behaviors can lower that chronic inflammatory effect. And then coming back to this diagram for my co-video one, this is really what we're trying to accomplish. We want to minimize the cytokine load to our body, which is represented here. If we're exposed to a virus, that virus is already going to cause a surge in cytokines. But if our lifestyle also, our emotions, diet, our physical activity levels are contributing to even more cytokine release, then that load is going to be too great for us to bear. And that's when we can have chronic health complications. Thanks for watching. For my resources, download my free COVID ebook, subscribe to my YouTube co-video series, and follow me on Instagram.